Hello, and welcome to my short animation on Chestnut Blight. This short video will hopefully help you understand the life cycle of Chestnut Blight caused by the pathogen Cryphonectra parasitica. Cryphonectra parasitica is a fungal pathogen that creates cankers in American chestnut. Because of this, the American chestnut can only survive in the ground. Chestnut blight produces two kinds of spores. The first are called ascospores. They are characteristic of most of ascomycota. These haploid spores reproduce sexually by fusing with another ascospore. The next type of spores are called canidia. They are the asexual spores. Both ascospores and canidia are released from separate fruiting bodies and have the ability to infect. These spores are carried by multiple forms of transportation. They are carried by wind, rain, and animals. Cryphonectra parasitica is a necrotroph, meaning it dines only on dead tissue. This also means that it cannot infect the plant without a wound. These wounds can be created by natural means or by wood boring wasps, as was found in a recent study. As the pathogen grows, it leaves necrotic lesions under the bark of the tree. This will produce a gall, which in turn produces more fruiting bodies for infection. No cure has been found for chestnut blight, though some practices can limit the disease. However, these mainly include the use of hybrids. Though with new methods like CRISPR coming along, it could help find a solution to chestnut blight.